Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Okay, so today I'm going to make this little mold that you can... It's supposed to be for makeup cases. Like, you know how you have the eyeshadow palette, palettes and stuff and you can stand them in there. But I wanted to use this for mail. God knows, I, I, I'm telling you, 15 bills from the hospital came last week. And I can't keep up with everything. So I figured this would be good for that. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much, like I said, as usual, how much this is going to hold. But I made up 12 ounces. I was letting my paddle drain in this one. Where's my little thing yet? Here it is. Because, oops, because I'm making a mess, I'm going to use some of this washi tape only in the first one. Because you're not going to see it on the other one, especially with bills in them. So I got my little piece cut out right here, just the little mountain scenes. And I'm just going to put that in here. We have our clear... And I'm just going to put it up under this clear. I'll probably pour, have to re-pour this one because I'm not going to back it. Or I can always use UV resin on the back of it as well. So I kind of rounded out the corners on this one. And if I can get this off here, I don't know. Uh, I, well, no, you know what? I don't even have to take this off the back. It use it if I can get the tape off of it. See, I ain't even thought about that. Of how this tape is going to come off. Maybe I should have cut a different one without this tape edge. Because this tape edge is not cooperating at all. No, it is not. Well, come on now. I don't want to have to cut another one. I don't want to waste this. Oh, man. You know, it's always something. I see that one wants to come off. Oh, my God. I hate wearing gloves trying to do anything with sticky stuff like this. Tapes. There we go. Phew. It just sticks right to you. Oh my goodness. I'm never going to get it all. Come on. There we go. Alright, so basically I am just going to well, I guess I, I guess I'll have to go on and peel it now because there's a bubble up under there. Now watch. It doesn't want to come off the paper at all now. Of course you don't. Why would you make my life easy? I hate putting gloves on and doing this. Oh, 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 I think I got it. I think I, I thought I did. Oh, just peeled the tape off. Now I'm going to have to put some more tape on it. Right, because there's a bubble that done got up under there, so I'll just pull the whole shebang off. There we go. Alright, so, oh my god, now, yeah, exactly. Where those tweezers go? <laughs> huh. So this is the smallest one. There's three or four different sizes. So this is our smallest side right here. So we're just, I'm just putting him down in here to where... The flat side is going at, oops, oh well, at the bottom. I need something else just so I can, yeah, smooth this out a little bit. If a little goes over, that's it's fine. I just want to make sure this gets down in here. Try to get the bubbles out if there is any. There may not be any. And get that up under there the best I can. Anyway. Alright, so I'm going to just let that go ahead and kind of like fill out a little bit. 
I have three new mica powders in. I went on and got some. I have two May Spring. I have some more May Spring coming. I just picked out some colors. Opul opulent Tanzanite. And boy, is it a pretty dark blue. Look at that blue. It's almost black. So I do want to use this today. Let me go on and take that off. I picked up some eye candy Okinawa blue. O Okinawa blue. I haven't even took the thing off of this. Eh. I mean, I got mica powder in it. I, well, I'm not sure if I want... I, well, this is the 25 gram one. These are 50 grams. And then I've got Mystic Opal. And oh my word, this is a two-tone which means it gives off two different colors and it is so pretty so yeah i'm gonna use me some toss away cups here actually i don't even know if i want to use this eye candy i kind of want to use just the may spring so i think that's exactly what i am going to do follow my mind so i'm gonna put one scoop just one in the bottom of this cup here and see how far that gets us and I'm gonna get another cup and put a scoop of the mystic opal in here at the bottom and I'm gonna put about halfway I guess oops yeah I don't want to make a mess I still have some clear left here like I said I don't know how much this is going to take like resin wise because I did not measure it oh wow beautiful blue absolutely stunning I am going to put some more in here though And I'm going to start at the top with this one because this is the heavier or darker one. So, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. And let me get this Mystique Opal stood up here. And this is like a two-tone color shift. Look at it. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I don't even think we need any more in here. Wow, that's pretty. Wow. Like I said, these were 50 grams. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. And the eye candy was like 25 grams for the same price. But I just, I don't know. I just want to use these two colors for this. And my resin is getting really warm. It is so hot today. And I've been cooking. So, yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is just go on and start with this blue. I'm going to spray, like, the bigger ones. There's six of them. So, I'm going to do two. Hopefully, y'all can see in this one, the blue. I'm going to do two of these. In the darker blue okay now I'm gonna pour a little bit of this blue in here and now I'm gonna mix them I'm going to put a little bit of this in here and kind of mix it around a little bit. So I put like a little, about a quarter of what I had mixed up for that one. And I'm going to pour this one. Wow, I think that turned out black. Oh well. <laughs> I think that kind of turned out black. I 
it's worse. Okay. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna kind of half and half this one a little bit there. Oh, I don't want to overflow them because they've got to fit in those little slots and really don't want to um shave anything off. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of, oops, let me spray this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. Alrighty. And oh my word. No, 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 no. Where's the paper towel? No. I'm going to just scoop him out of there the best I can. No. All right. So I'm going to just, okay, wait a minute. Where's my other one? That's that one. I'm going to put this one at the bottom because I really don't want to waste anything. So yeah. Put this one right here. And maybe a little bit more of this one. And some more of this one right there. Okie dokie. It's kind of color blend those. And with this one, I'm going to put him right here, even though I do not have enough. So, I will need to mix up some on that one. Going to get a little bit more into that one. And actually just put a little bit down here at this bottom here. It'll be fine. Alright, and this in the middle. Alright, so hopefully I have enough mixed up. I still have... Oh, yeah, I should. I still have four ounces over here mixed up. All right, so let me go on and get a little bit more clear in here. Um, This is the stick I think I use for this opal. I'm going to go on and get him mixed up. Whew. only thing I have left to pour is this base so hopefully it'll be enough if it's not I'll just finish it off with another clear put a little bit more in there and this gives off like a greeny blue color and that was the mystic opal but yeah that blue that Tanzanite blue really got me. That thing is a good gorgeous. Oh well, yeah, I think this will be enough to fill up this base. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm what how many ounces did I say I made up? Twelve. Or was it six? No, I mean ten. No, it was twelve. So, 12 ounces is going to fill your mold because, yep, it took every bit of it. It most certainly did. Took every bit of it. And I just wanted to play around with these colors. Ah, goodness, this one's kind of taken over because there was more of this one in here. But that's okay. This is for me. Just for me. Alrighty. That is going to be such a beautiful color, that opal. Okay, now with this, what do I want to do? Oh, I think he was coming up a little bit there. See if I can push him back down in there. Oh, I keep pushing the resin out. Oh, well. I'm going to have a little cleanup to do on him. I already see that. And that's where that black spot got in there. Alright, now for this top, I want to put some kind of glitter 
on it. Oh, my hands are so sticky from everything. I still got a little bit of clear left. I would like to put some kind of glitter on it. I don't like touching over my stuff with resin all over my hands. So, just get this paper towel here. If I can still reach it. Goodness. All right, I just get a little bit of this um, stardust stuff here, and I'll just take the stick out and do it like that. Let it fall on there. I will mix it up a little bit with my thing here. We'll mix it up. Just give it a little sparkle in the sky here. A little bit of sparkle in the sky. Alrighty. And that's all I needed from you, buddy. That was it. Okay, that's basically full. Let's see if I can get any more in here. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Don't want to overfill it. And that is completely full. These are all completely full, but not quite domed. I did not want them domed. I'm scared if I put this in here, it's going to go, but I kind of want it to put it down in here. Hopefully, it will not mess up anything where those little holder things are. Maybe they'll just stay right in here and not go up under anything. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping it just stays right in that area. Okay. Now I can clean up and when we come back. Oh my gosh. That color is looking phenomenal. Yes it is. When we come back we can see what we have. Yes. Alright. I'll see you on D-Mode. Alrighty everyone. I found my swishing sponge. <laughs> It was in the drawer. It fell in one of my little bins. So we are going to unmold our little tray. Or in my case, mail holder. I think this will be perfect to hold mail. Oh, that came out nice and clean. It's got a little dip in it right here. But oh, look at that blue. Oh, what is that? Oh, well, that's the bottom. But look at the pretty colors all together. That's the blue I want. It almost, it, it's so dark to where it's almost black. I like that. All right, so these are them. Let's pop these out. There should be no overage on them. And that's that, just the regular, what was the name of that? Majestic Opal. It's very very pretty I figure he go right here oh please don't oh my gosh okay it's fits so good to where I probably don't even have to glue it in hallelujah yeah let's see how this one looks well that turned out cute with the good oh I got a little sharp edge right there Oops, I'm knocking over everything. I'm going to peel this. Yeah, I do not want to cut my finger. I keep cutting my finger. I got to cut there. One that's healed right there. The little sharp edges will get you on that resin. Yes, it will. 
And sometimes you don't even realize it until you're like, wow, wait a minute. That don't feel right. Okay, so yeah, that one, I like the little glitter I put in there. And I also added, besides the stardust, I put a little bit of this one in there from Timu. Just sprinkled it on the back. Have it a little bigger, but yeah, that turned out really good. I love that washi tape. So let's hope he fits just as good. Yes, he does. I do not even have to glue these down. Oh no, that's that's pretty. I am not even gonna have to glue these down. All right, this one I think I mixed. Eh, didn't? Yes, maybe I should have mixed it a little better. He's got a little sharp edge on top, too. Have to, I don't really cut into it. I just scrape the sides when they're just a little sharp like that. Because there's no use in cutting into it. Okay, is that one smaller than that one? Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one's a little bit smaller, yeah, so he should have went here. Oh, okay. Actually, he's small. No, he's not. Okay. Um, I'll put you there. Even though you can make more, I still, well, I guess the, no, this one's taller than this one, so this one should have, oh, well. You know what? It's fine. Shoot. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I guess I'm going to have to shave all of these little edges a little bit here. Just to, because I didn't overfill them because, I, as you can see, they're barely getting in here now. But they're getting in here to where I am not going to have to glue them at all. So that's our four. It comes with eight. So, let's see. I guess this one's the next one. The dark blue. Or the... What was that called? The... Let me get it right. Opulent Tanzanite. It's very pretty. It is very pretty blue. Just what I was looking for. A really dark blue. Something I did not have. And I forgot to... I forgot to shave this off. Uh, I have a lot of blues, but I did not have one that was a dark blue. Alrighty. There we go. Now, I just got to remember to shave them all off. And they fit in good. They're not going anywhere. They fit into this mold really nice. Okay, so I think this is the next one. So I don't think I poured it in the right, <laughs> right, um, right way there. I don't know why I was thinking those were all the four the same size, but yeah, I kind of wanted to go from the darkest to the lightest, but that's okay. I'll remember that the next time I use this mold. Hmm. And then I think this was Nick. This is the one I mixed two together, the black and the uh, um, majestic opal. It almost looks like a shiny dark gray. Honestly, oh, let me get him. He's got a little bit right there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He just got some on top. The sides are good on this one. They're not sharp at all, but the top is. Okay, is that? Yeah, that's going to go there. If I can get him in. Let me turn him around this way so I can. Uh, I'm just so glad that they fit good in here without. I thought I was going to have to glue them in, but this one is soft, but these other ones are harder. This one was a little, still a little soft. I think it'll be fine. And then this one where we mix the the 
the one I mixed with this and then the opal. The majestic opal is like a greeny color. Just trimming off these sides a little bit here. And I will get him in here. I really like the way that they fit in this mold. They fit snug and I should not have to worry about them. So the only one, oh, I got some shavings in there. The only one that I mixed up on was this one, but that's fine. He should have been here and this one should have been there, but I'm good with that. That looks really pretty. I didn't get any bubbles around the edges. It's a miracle. So yeah, this would be perfect to hold mail. I, I like this mold. Oh, where did I get this mold? Timu? I think it was Timu, but I think I've seen it on Amazon. So, yeah. You should be able to find it other places. <sighs> Still got some shedding in there. But yeah, that turned out really good. And you could use it, like I said, for multiple things. You could probably also use it to put dishes on. Well, they would have to be thin because it's not that thick <sighs> still got shavings on there but I like how that turned out I really do I love the colors and I love that washi tape I really love that scenic washi tape it's like little stars and stuff up top from the glitter little sparkly sky yeah, I, really I really like that washi tape that's some pretty pretty wash tape and now I could put bills in here and there's a thousand of them over here on my desk just thrown around so yeah all of our hospital bills <laughs> so yeah see you can actually put the taller ones back here but it holds a lot just in that space you can see two four six eight ten and there's still room for some more or you can also use this for probably cardstock for crafting yeah and stick your little notepads in here but yeah this is what I'm gonna use it for like things to keep from urgent on up so yeah that way I can keep track because I don't have any house bills that come in the mail uh, all those are paid online and do paperless, so I think the only thing that does come is the water bill, and that's for Savannah, that's every two months, the water bill is. I gotta clean up all these shavings. Okay, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, Yeah, this is a perfect multi-purpose mold, so if you don't have one, I would pick it up. It's a good multi-purpose mold. It really, really is. And you get like eight slots, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven slots. Okay. You get seven. But I originally brought this because I have little dessert plates that are, what is it called? The Chinette? They're really thin. I was going to use them for that. And I may, before I make another one, try to see if they'll fit really well in here. And if they do, I'll probably use it for a little plate stand for the little dessert plates. If they fit in here nicely. Like I said, you should be able to get like three, two to three plates in each slot. Because they're small and they're thin. They're the Chinette plates. They're really thin. That what is it shatter resistant glass but that's what I brought this for and then I was like that's mighty small and also before you would put any dishes that are heavy I would let this really really cure because some of it's still a little soft like this and if it gets a little wacky it should be fine because I'm going to stuff it with bills so that'll keep it in place for right now but if I was putting any dishes or anything in it, I would 
let this thing cure for a good couple of days and let it get super hard I would just probably take it out in a mold honestly and just lay it on your heat mat and just let it let it cure about one or two more times on a like a two hour setting or something just to make sure it's nice and hard but yeah there's all kind of uses for this at least I got that shaved off. I don't need no more cuts on my fingers. Alright, you guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye for now.